Four years ago, my only sibling, my sister, had passed away, and I really found that this this thing, this fitness, this world that I was so integrally involved in, that's what helped me to sort of make sense of the bigger things that were happening in life. My sister passed away at the age of 28, and she actually died of a drug overdose. She had struggled for many years with an existing knee injury. She actually had a knee injury at the age of 15, a torn meniscus, had it surgically repaired. That's a very tough injury for some people to kind of really rehabilitate through. Had a second surgery several years later and was essentially never given from any type of medical provider a really a system that would help her to get back to the quality of life that she, she really was looking for, that, that we all are entitled to kind of have. Um, essentially, there was less focus on rehabilitative movements and exercises, and more of a focus on pain management through medication. That medication and being prescribed that turned into something that became an addiction. It's something that spiraled out of control. And kind of one of the reasons that fitness is so important to me is because to me, if there was more of an emphasis placed on this holistic approach to health and fitness, right? Fitness isn't just lifting weights at the gym, or hopping on a treadmill. It really is that whole mind-body connection. It's really just every facet of your life and just improving yourself in some way across the board. And so I think to me, if there was more of an emphasis in what we're currently doing as a society in helping people to live happier and healthier, to establish healthy habits, to find physical activity that helps them to really feel good in their bodies and to be able to just go through life a little bit easier, I think we'd have a lot more people looking for other alternatives than often what are just the medically prescribed solutions.